all of the members of the Kana Act Bar Charm Committee. This is so important. And to see you all out here today, it helps me to understand that you know that you've got power. You know that you've got influence. You know that you've got to stand up for civil rights. You know that you've got to fight racism. Give yourselves a big round of applause. It's That's crazy. One of the things that I have learned and I know and I understand is those of us who have been fighting against ostracism and racism, those of us who have been fighting for our civil rights for so many years, we all must stand together, black and brown, standing together to fight against what we know has been an attempt to hold us down. Now, this march today, this rally today, is so important because it sends a loud message out. And ladies and gentlemen, we have to send the messages now because racism is on the rise. They're trying to do away with voting rights. They're trying to do away with our ability to have our children in public schools. We cannot allow them to stop our children from being educated. Give yourselves a big round of applause for fighting. And so, I want to give you a little bit of a message from Washington, D.C. We finally have gotten rid of Trump. He's out of here. And we have an administration now where we understand how many lives have been affected, have been changed because of the pandemic. People have been laid off from jobs. Some of our small businesses have closed down and people need their government to stand up and help out in our communities. And we're doing that. We sent out stimulus checks. We're fighting for the child tax credit. And right now, all weekend, I've been fighting to make sure that we have rental assistance. First of all, the rent is too damn high. Secondly, we had to stand by and watch as some homes were taken from us because we could not afford to pay the mortgage. However, the Supreme Court just ruled against us and said that we could not have rental moratoriums where you didn't have to pay the rent if you could not afford to. But I have the legislation to, I have the legislation to respond to that. We're going to get the rental assistance back up so that you're not evicted from your home, number one. And number two, I'm not afraid to say we're gonna pay the landlord we don't want to take the room, the, the units for nothing, for free. We appreciate everything that the government is doing. But in my bill, we're going to make sure that the rental assistance is there for people who need it. All you got to do is apply for it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pay the landlords so they stop messing with us, okay? And so, you have an administration and those of us who work very hard to stand up for what is right. Your marching here today in this rally gives us support. That means you've got the backs of the legislators who dare to stand up and fight. And so, for all of those who are fighting, I can take the message back to them about what you did here today. The moratorium from 1917 is extraordinarily important. 1917, that's right. Now listen. Here's what, when I tell you that I have filed with the Department of Justice about what's going on in the Sheriff's Department, I want you to know this is serious. This is very serious. They're out on the streets talking about they're saving the communities from gangs. The gangs are inside the Sheriff's Department. about what is in our culture and they're misusing it and our tattoos are about love. Our tattoos are about friendship. Their tattoos are about how many people got shot. And so they're taking this power to the street 
and they stepped on the wrong toes when they shot and killed a young man out near Gardena in my district. Shot him in the back. And so, we've got to stay on this. We cannot move away from fighting against what is going on. The people that we pay to protect and serve us, killing us, we cannot take it. We won't take it. We'll stand up, we'll fight, and we'll say to Sheriff's past and to this one, who right now is talking about he's helping the homeless, to stop messing with the homeless and do something good for the people. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I'm delighted to be here with you today. Working together, we're gonna win. We're going to make sure that we're supporting our communities. We're going to make sure that we're supporting our young people and make sure that we're supporting our old people. We cannot forget anyone in our communities because all of us deserve the right to be treated with respect and dignity. Thank you so very much.